Hey, what up, Coconut Crew? Tropical Zach here with another video brought to you by HikingMyOwnHike.net. And having clean, safe drinking water while you're out on a backpacking trip is one of the most important aspects of your backpacking experience. And so that's why we're going to go through my hydration kit in this particular video. Because the last thing I want to experience is having water, water everywhere and none to drink. So being able to produce clean, safe drinking water is essential for life. And before I go any further in this video, I want to take a moment to commend the many individuals, businesses, and organizations that make that a focus in their lives and operations. On behalf of our entire species, I would like to give a huge thank you for your efforts in helping us produce clean, safe drinking water for everyone. Okay, so knowing how essential water is for life, when I am planning a backpacking trip, the single key decision factor that I focus on is access to water. Now, once I know where the water sources will be, then I begin to select the appropriate hydration gear to take on the particular adventure and even the pathway that I may be taking on that particular trek. So depending on where I'm hiking also determines where water sources may be. The cleanliness of the water sources and even the taste of treated water. We are so used to having easy access to clean and safe drinking water that we forget that such water is not always readily available out in the backcountry. Once I have an idea of what my water sources may be, then I will select the appropriate gear to take. Because producing clean, clear, safe drinking water is so vital, my hydration kit is one of the most important and detailed kits that I have. First off, my hydration kit is kept in an easily identified bag, which is placed in the same outer pocket of my backpack for each and every trip so that I can access it without having to dig through the other gear that I have to be able to get to that particular kit. My first efforts are water collection, which are generally done with my dirty water bag by either filling it directly or indirectly. I have found that using a two liter knock bladder as my dirty water bag works best for my particular style of water treatment. Before water with a lot of visible debris goes into my dirty water bag, it is pre-filtered using my Hennessy Hammock HH20 Auto Magic Water Collector. This pre-filter is great to remove the larger debris that can quickly clog up my actual filter. Plus, it makes it easy to pour water from the bladder and then into the bottle. What I appreciate so much about this particular pre-filter is that it is also a multi-use item that I can use to collect rainwater as well as use as a tarp tensioner during foul weather. I've also placed a small mesh pre-filter inside of my actual filter to collect any mist particulates that I want to avoid having get into my actual water filter. I consider this my last line of defense to protect my filter from clogging by visible particulates. I think most of us that use a water filter realize that the greatest threat to clogging a filter is suspended particulates within the water. Things like silt or ash can clog a water filter within a single use. Often these suspended particulates cannot be removed with a pre-filter, so I have to resort to chemical treatment to be able to separate them from the actual water. To deal with this, I use a very specific product called polyaluminum chloride or PACL, which coagulates the suspended particulates into a heavier than water flocculant that I can then drain off from my water bladder. Modern water filters are amazing pieces of engineering because of how durable and effective they are. My go-to filters are from the Sawyer family, in particular the Sawyer Squeeze and the Sawyer Mini. I like them because of how easy they are to use and how much time they save me in my water processing. 
After a long day of hiking, when I get to camp, there are still a lot of camp chores that I have to perform, like setting up camp, perhaps processing firewood, making meals, etc. So spending a lot of time filtering water can consume more time than I have available. But using the Sawyer filters as part of my system really cuts down on that effort because I use them generally as gravity filters. I can get two liters of dirty water in my knock bladder, connect it to my filter, hook my clean bladder up to that discharge side of that filter, and then hang the whole system to allow the water to go through a gravity filter. Typically, I will process about one and a half liters of clean water and have two liters of dirty water available to process later. This gives me plenty of water for cooking and hydration in camp and water to start out the next day of hiking. Okay, I know this is a big topic of controversy, but you have to understand the science of this. And filtering the water does not remove the viruses, the odors, the heavy metals, etc. Unless I know for sure that my water source is relatively free of those concerns, after I have filtered the water, I will purify it. And with that, I generally use my SteriPen Ultra. Finally, if there is a concern of odors or heavy metals, or I just want to improve the taste of the water, I will drop in an activated charcoal stick to deal with those particular issues. If I'm really trying to be a minimalist, I will leave my primary water filter at home and just bring my mill bank bag to gather and filter the water into my cook pot and then boil it. It is a long and tedious process to produce clean and safe drinking water, but it is worth it every single time. And finally, there are a few items that are included in my hydration kit that make my system simply easier to use. The key to the gravity system to work is this particular adapter that allows me to connect my filter to my clean water bladder. Without this adapter, there is no way to make the connection and use the system in a gravity cleaning way. The most useful tool that I have in my hydration kit is a do-it-yourself shutoff valve that allows me to stop the flow of water from my dirty water bladder to my clean water bladder. This way I can switch out a full clean water bladder to an empty clean water bladder without losing any water. To keep my filters well maintained, back flushing is almost always effective. For this task, Sawyer provides a syringe that can be used, but I have found that using the Sawyer sports cap is equally effective. It works best under pressure, which I can get by squeezing the water from a water bladder rather than a water bottle. I am absolutely not a fan of reaching for my water bottle while hiking, so I use a water tube with a bite valve that I can access while hiking without having to stop or contort my body to reach a water bottle. This is connected to a water bladder, but I don't keep that reservoir in the pack. I keep it in my water bottle pockets on the side of my pack. This system provides the convenience of an internal hydration bladder without the concern for leaking onto your gear, the temperature of body heat on the water, or the inconvenience of having to remove and install the bladder into your pack. Finally, maintaining my body chemistry while hiking is an essential part of hydration. I'm not a fan of putting electrolyte mix into my water bottles because of the residual taste it can leave, so I generally use straight-to-mouth electrolyte packets such as these from Mountain Ops. Hey, I hope you got a lot of information out of this video and that it helps you with your hydration kit and system while you're out backpacking. If you have any comments or questions, please do go ahead and leave them down below. I will respond. I read each and every one of them, so I'll make sure to respond to you. And for those of you that have subscribed to the channel already, Thank you so very much. Uh, thanks to you, I've been able to reach that 100 subscribers mark. In fact, I've gone beyond that. And so now it's time for the coveted 1,000 subscribers. So if you're not already a subscriber to the channel, please do consider doing so now. It will certainly help. And if I can leave you with one final piece of sage advice, it's to remember that 
every day just gets better and better. Thanks for watching.